The wall is the perfect tool to improve your volleying technique because it allows you a great deal of repetitions in a very short amount of time. The forearm volleys you get as close to the wall as possible and try to keep the ball in play. The racket stays nice and still, very little movement of the racket head. You can do the same drill with low forearm volleys where you get as low as possible and keep the ball in play. The next step is to include a step for each volley. You're trying to coordinate it so that your front foot touches the ground as the strings touch the ball. Next, you will go in and out, getting close to the wall, stepping forward, and then backing up. Try to coordinate your step forward with the strings making contact with the ball. In all these drills, you're going to work on forehands and backhands. On the backhand volley, make sure that the racket is on the side of the body. The wrist should be up and firm for forehands and for backhand volleys. Moving across the wall is very helpful to practice coordinating the step and the hit. The foot should touch the ground as the strings touch the ball. The racket is nice and quiet, very little movement. On your half volley drill, the key is to set your body, move your feet and make sure that you're hitting the ball in front of you. You're hitting two volleys, backing up and hitting two half volleys. This drill is excellent to practice setting up to the ball with little steps and moving forward and back. High volleys can be practiced by hitting the ball down so that it bounces before it hits the wall.